my dudes talking about my dudes my dudes all right i'm done with that <laughs> video six of six of the brothers gallery box listen my high bid on this item right here was fifty dollars this is a i believe meiji era satsuma piece now the region is called satsuma uh, and you know my pronunciation could be off uh, i know japanese people don't enunciate syllables as far as like you know like it might just be like satsuma which actually probably sounds better as far as the uh, genuine pronunciation but but that's where we're at so fifty dollars now uh, let me tell you real quick why i think these are satsuma vases without even uh without even flipping them over to the bottom which i don't think would help us at all anyway because they're just numbered it's in japanese though so i mean i guess that does help a little bit i think i just put my finger on my camera screen or on my uh camera lens here so let me make sure that this is you know i'm so sorry i do this while the camera's still rolling i, I apologize but okay uh satsuma ware was known for a cream colored crackle glaze which is exactly what we have here um you can see just a little bit of like pink or purple coming from the under glaze here but i did notice his only damage i think the only damage on either of these pieces is this little chipped off ear on this foo dog right here ignore my fingernails they're dirty today i've already been outside doing stuff I was cutting up a tree. I'll tell you about that later. If I ever tell you guys I made a knife, we'll, we'll talk about it later. We'll talk about it later. Anyway. <laughs> Sometimes I refer to myself as flighty, and I'm pretty sure you understand why. Okay, so I believe these are late Meiji era Satsuma vases. Um, <clears throat> decorated with golden enamel. Uh, that raised enamel decoration would be called Moriyagi. And I think he's just awesome, first off. You can see that he's not actually painted. They just left him go with the uh, cream color crackle. There's a bit of brown crackle there, too. Make sure I don't drop this thing. This is a... Uh, I think this is worth considerably more than the $50 I paid for them. Especially considering I have two of them. So this guy, I think, is just a... F he can't be a farmer. Uh, he's not dressed like a farmer at all. But I believe he's got an axe, like a farm implement. So I'm not exactly sure. There's got to be a story to the three figures on this base, and I'm just not positive what it is. Um, I'm going to turn it around. We're going to look at the uh, these beautiful gold gilt handles, at least at were at one point in time. I think that has to be the way that this was decorated initially because it's not like somebody was just handling the boots off of this little, you know, sidebar ribbon thing over here. I think those foo dogs are, or whatever they are, I could be wrong about what they are, but I think they're foo dogs. But then we come to the other side over here and look at this, look at this amazing Tengu character. No, I think he's got a mask on, and I think he's holding a boken and not a sword. A boken is a wooden sword, uh, like a practice sword. And I could be wrong about that too, but I think if it was a sword, they would have decorated it like a sword as opposed to just making it look like a piece of wood. Again, this beautiful Moriyagi decoration all over him, gold gilding. And I mean, that's probably real gold powder in like an enamel. And they, uh, yeah, they just mixed it in there. And, and now we have rich stuff at the best I can afford antiques channel. Look at this top decoration here. I mean, if that's not, if that's not enough to get you going in the morning, I don't know what is. Let me make sure I get this, uh what I imagine is a chrysanthemum that's a difficult word for me there's a lot of syllables in there 
even Y if you count that one. Do we count Y as a syllable? Let's make a channel decision as a family right now. <laughs> uh, not a syllable, a consonant. Jeez. What am I doing? Do you even English, Austin? So this is all, yeah, I mean, this is all gold Moriyagi decoration. Get a look at that foo dog butt there. <laughs> you get any closer, you're gonna know each other. That's how that's how dogs do. Go back to this chrysanthemum, and I mean, look at that gold decoration around it. I mean, what a fantastic thing! And I don't know how much these are worth. They're worth more than I paid for them. Um, Fifty dollars. That's that's like a joke for these pieces. That's. That's maybe what you could get one of these for it if you saw it at a thrift store or something. That's not what anybody would buy these for me for. That's for <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. We ain't doing that. <laughs> I think uh, I think I wouldn't be out of my mind to tell somebody that these were three hundred dollars for the set. And you see they're painted a little differently. Um, well we'll come back to the other one in a minute, but See, this guy's got a fair bit more uh, gold decoration, I think. A little bit different feet and stuff. I mean, I think these guys are super cool. Do you guys like these? We're going to look at the bottoms in a minute. It's kind of interesting. These are, uh, these are written on in Japanese, but they're numbered which is super odd. <clears throat> uh, one of them is numbered 02 and the other one is numbered 08. I'm just not sure why that's a thing at all. I don't know if maybe it's two different artists that worked on them. You can see if we look at the Tengu, look at his face. So in this one he's got like an open beak and he's coming at the guy and then in this one, he's still got kind of an open beak, but it's definitely a different a different painter that worked on him and everything. So yeah, I don't know. Look at his outfit there. Note the uh the weird designs on his pants and stuff. I think that would be a uh, called a uh, hakama. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they're just pants. But yeah, much different design on these pants over here. Same, same kind of general design though, like... I don't know if someone just painted the figures and then like somebody else came in to do the Moriyagi decoration or... I'm just really not sure, but... I mean, everything on these is fantastic. That's awesome decoration right there. Let's see, how many petals are on that? Eight at the top. Um... I'm counting in the center ring there. So we got uh, four across the top, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So there's nine petals on the inside. And I think 13 on the outside. Uh, 21 petals altogether? I don't know if that means anything at all. Sometimes it does. Uh, sometimes the amount of petals on your chrysanthemum in Japanese art will tell you quite a bit. One day I hope we can talk more about that, but I only want to tell you about it if I can see one in real life. Otherwise, what a waste. I mean, are those not fantastic decorations? I hope you guys like these. Man, I really like them. I think they're awesome. Let's, uh, let's get a little family portrait here. I don't even know if I can fit them both in frame. I'm going to turn one around so we have both panels. Make sure I don't bump them into each other there. I'm going to move my camera a little bit so that we can... So yeah, there's the whole story. I don't know... Hold on one second. I see we're getting a lot of glare off of this bad boy today. Maybe even, yeah, okay, I think so. What do you guys think about that? That'll be fine. 
All right, focus. Do the thing. I think. Is that focused? I just don't know about you sometimes, buddy. So, yeah. We got these three guys. We got uh, what appears to be a samurai with a wooden sword. What appears to be a Tengu, maybe wearing a Tengu mask. So maybe a person wearing a Tengu mask, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, and then uh, a samurai-looking farmer. I don't know. Someone must know that this is like a story somewhere. But yeah, I mean, it appears that these two guys are about to fight. And this guy's over here, oh, I don't know, chopping wood? I don't... I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, um, I believe these are Satsuma. This is, um, I believe this is number two, zero two, if I'm holding that the right way. Oh yeah, and then look at his, uh, he's got unique feet, and I just saw another Satsuma piece with feet almost exactly like this. Note the holes on the inside of them. And there's just a little bit of like, Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think they are neat, though. I think this is number eight. Kind of a green-colored uh, glaze that they put the numbers on them with. So yeah, I don't know. What, it looks like there might have used to have been a sticker right there. So I don't know. I do think that these are, uh, I think these are late Meiji era. I think like 1920s, maybe just a little before that, maybe just a little after, but definitely not, definitely not like 1950s or anything. I wouldn't think, and you know, someone could correct me on that too, but I think these are very well done. I think these are, uh, you know, again, note the food dogs, note the detail on the food dog. I mean... I've never seen one with, like, tendrils at the top of his head and stuff like that. You know, I don't own... I don't own a thousand billion pieces, so... I, I don't know, and I don't get to look at a ton of pieces either. I'm nowhere near a museum or anything, so... So, what I buy is what I get to see for the most part in any sort of detail, other than shopping online and stuff. But, but yeah, I, I don't know. Sometimes I just get to look at a new thing, and I... I wonder, and I speculate, and I hope, and I think, and I research, and, and yeah, sometimes we end up with something super neat, and again, this was $50, $50 for these two vases, look at how much different the, uh, the farmer guys are, the ones got just, uh, <laughs> a hefty amount of gold on them. I mean, look at that dude. It's not a farmer. <laughs> Whatever it is, uh, you know, it's not a it's not a dude on his way to do manual labor for the day. So yeah, I'd like to understand more about this, and if anybody knows the story of these pieces or anything, I'd really like to know about it. I think it's interesting to note that even his robe collar is actually Moriyagi. It's a it's a white enamel decoration, and it's raised up, raised up off of the uh, surface there. I, man, these are really nice pieces. I really like them. If I sold them, do you think I should sell them as a set? Or do you think I should sell them like one, one, one? <laughs> That's idiots. Jesus. I don't know. I don't know if they were designed to be a set or not. Maybe so that you can look at one panel and the other panel at the same time. I don't know. I think they're neat. Look at how different their pants are. I think they're cool guys. They got a different angle uh, to their wrist here. So I think these are definitely hand painted. They're not like uh, nobody printed the guys on there or anything. Somebody painted the guy and then either the same artist or another artist came through and did all the Moriyagi decoration and the gold gilding. Uh, that That's my speculation. And obviously <clears throat> a potter would have done this pot. You know, it's not like it's not like, typically, 
It's not like the potter would make the pot and then paint it and then do the enamel. I mean, to have a guy that skilled in that many areas of craft, I, he'd be he'd be in books, I would think. But yeah, um, these are pretty fantastic pieces. I hope you guys like them. And, uh, you know, I'll always try and have more stuff for us to look at. <laughs> Fingers crossed, huh? <laughs> Sometimes I feel a little more broke than I usually do. Oh, let's not talk about it right now. This is Austin at the Best I Can Afford Antiques channel. I hope you guys are excited to see these. I hope you uh, enjoyed this video about them. Thank you very much for coming to look at my stuff all the time. I love you guys.